Hey Valley Middle School, welcome back to another math lesson. Tonight we're going to be learning how to multiply decimals, but first let's start off with something just for fun. How many actors have played James Bond in the official movie series? Now I'm talking Hollywood, not community theater, so Uncle Bob's appearances, but James Bond doesn't count. We'll get that answer and more when we finish the video. Tonight officially our target is 2.4a, I can multiply decimals, let's do this thing. Alright, some must know stuff. You're going to have to know how to multiply tonight, so I'm going to kind of review that as we go. So if you think I'm going too slow sometimes, remember, I'm reteaching some people how to multiply. So we're going to multiply as usual, then we're going to count the decimal places on top in the problem, and then we're going to move the decimal and the answer that same number of places. Here's a quick example from the book. 3.77 times 2.8. Well, I set my problem up 3.77 times 2.8. And then I multiplied away. I started here at the 8, 8 times 7, 8 times 7, 8 times 3. I got 3,016. And I zeroed down. And then I multiplied them 2 times 7, 2 times 7, 2 times 3. And I ended up with 754 plus the 0 was 7,540. I added those two together and I got 10,556. All of that was just multiplying as normal. Now we have to count the decimal places. So up on top, I have one, two decimals plus. A third, so I have a total of three decimal places. So I come down to the bottom, and my answer here's where the decimal would be, and of course it's there in any number that doesn't have a decimal. And I just move it the same number of places, I move it back to the left. One, two, three. So three to the right, one, two, and three. Three decimals on, spot, on top, one, two, move the answer three places to the left on the bottom. And there you get your answer 10.556. Let's start off tonight with a word problem about Tara. Tara bought three Lululemon headbands on the clearance rack for $9.22 piece. How much did she spend? Well, we got $9.22 times three equals, we're not sure. So I set it up as a normal problem. I left my decimal in, and I just ignore it. Three times two is six. Three times two is six. Three times nine is 27. So I have 27.66. Yay, I'm done. No, you're not. That was just the first step. Now, we have to count the decimal places on top. So I have one, two decimals on top. So I go down to the answer, 2766, and I move it back two places, one, two. And that makes much more sense. It's 27.66 or $27.66. I always like to check and just see if the answer makes sense. $9 times three, 27 bucks, we're good to go. All right. Here we go. Let's try some problems. I'll work a couple with you. We have 13.1 times 0.5. Well, go ahead and multiply as normal. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Get my 5, and then i got to carry the 10, make carry the 1. So now I have 5 times 1 is 5, plus that 1 would be 6, 655. Now step 2 is count those decimal places. Whoops, I get that guy. So i got 1. And I've got two decimal places on the top, so I move that answer two decimal places on the bottom for an answer of 6.55. Now, does that answer make sense? Well, yeah, it does. you got 13.1 times 5, so that's like half of 13, which is 6.5. Yes, my answer is very close. I am good to go. All right, let's try another problem. 2.13 times 3.1. All right, well, we start off. Start over here, 1 times 3, of course, is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Now I'm going to be multiplying over here from the 10 spot, so I zero down. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9. Get my 9. Sorry, I'm a neat freak. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. All right, so I've got those two done. Now I've got to add everything up, so let me get my addition bar and addition sign. So if I add those two numbers up, I'm just going to do it the fast way. Maybe I get 6603. All right, now I've got to come back up to the top here. And see, I had one decimal spot here, and I've got to grab this double here because I had two on the top. So I have a total of three decimal places there. So I just grab this one here, slide it right into place. I have 66, or sorry, 6.603. Now you got to ask yourself, does that answer make sense? Well, let's just think about it. You basically got 2 times 3. 
and that equals 6, right? So yeah, you've got a little change here and a little change here. So yes, my answer makes total sense. Okay, time for you to try some. I've got three problems, small, medium, and large. Here's the small one. Go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, let's see how you did. If you multiply correctly, your answers will look something like this. And then we have to deal with the decimals. So I got one decimal spot here. I got one decimal spot here, so I got a total of two on the top, so that means I have to move it in my answer two places. So your answer should have been 2.73. Okay, let's see. Does that make sense? Well, this is about one and a half times two. One and a half times two would be three. So yeah, my answer of 2.73 does make sense. All right, now on to the medium problem. All right, lots of decimals, but I think you can handle it. Go ahead and give this one a shot. Pause the video. I see dead people. Let's see how you did. Well, if you did all the work right, you'd have ended up with 20,412, but you have five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five on the top, so you've got to move that decimal place. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to the front of that number. 0.20, what does that even mean? Well, if you just think about those first two, it's like 20 cents, right? Well, let's see, if does it make sense? Well, it's like 25 cents times less than one. So we know that our answer is going to be a little less than 25 cents. Yeah, it makes sense, okay? I think putting kind of some reality to your answer and thinking about money and decimals always helps me. I think it'll help you too. All right, here's a pretty challenging problem. It's three digit by three digit. Go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, don't. You can do it. All right, let's see how you did. All right, if you did it all, you would have had three numbers all the way, and you zero down in the second, and you put two zeros down in that third number because now you're multiplying over here by the hundred spot. You'd end up with 12, sorry, 127,050. But now we got some serious decimals to deal with. So let's see. I got two on the top here, and then I've got two on that number there. So I have a total of four decimal places. So I'll take and slide that into my number. And you can see where I actually end up with 12.7050, okay? Now, if you do it in a calculator, they're going to drop this last zero, and it's just going to look like 12.705, and that's just fine. Does it make sense? Well, let's see. Let me grab this guy here. I'm going to have to move these guys out of the way. You got 1 times 8 would be 8, and then you've got about half times 8, which would be about four. So you have about 12 as our estimate. Yes, our answer of 12.750 does make sense. All right, I think you are ready for the ticket to the show. Here they are, two problems. 3.11 times 3.2 and 7.22 times 0.43. Multiply as normal. Count the decimal places up on top. Move the decimal back the same number of places and your answer. Okay, the trivia question. How many act different actors played James Bond in the official movie series? Survey says six. That's it. Now I know you know what you want to know who they are. So here they all are. Uh, this is the James Bond you know, Daniel Craig. And this guy here, some of you may have seen Timothy Dalton in some movies. Uh, George Lazenby, ah, pff, I don't really remember him. Sean Connery, I do remember. Roger Moore was one of the early ones as well, and then Pierce Bronson. Um, he was my favorite, personally. So, hope you enjoyed it and learned something tonight. Enjoy. Have a good evening.